Now, in a world where children are on a hunt for maximum likes while posting on social media platforms, these platforms are the new reality for them. But America plans to bring about a change. A new bill is set to put an age limit on social media users. You heard that right. And experts say that this is aimed at addressing a mental health crisis. Is social media destroying the young generation? Do these children who are on these social media platforms even know about the dangers of the social media circus? Handwritten letters pass the baton to emails, mobile phones took over traditional telephones, and then came social media. These platforms are meant to connect people a medium which helps us to live in the moment, even when we are far from our loved ones. But everything comes with a downside. And the US has introduced a bill, it's called Protecting Kids on Social Media Act. This is the latest effort in protecting the mental health of children. Children are truly getting affected. Research showing that 57% High school girls and 29% boys persistently feel sad due to social media usage. Before I tell you more about the mental health impact and the crisis, let's just see what this new bill is all about. What are the specifics of this bill? Well, platforms would be banned from creating accounts for children below the age of 13. Children will not be allowed to talk with other users. Tech platforms would need a guardian's permission to create an account for someone under the age of 18. Companies would be banned from using personal data. This is so that they don't aim at children with targeted ads. In fact, a U.S. senator saying that companies know a devastating fact. The fact that the only way to make children stay on their platform is to upset them. You know, to give them extreme feelings like agitation, fear, helplessness. And this can be seen when platforms suggest targeted content or advertisements. And what is targeted content? These are tailor-made ads or any other content. And how is the content personalized? The content is made by collecting the user's personal data and platforms use the data to give the user personalized ads. This can especially be harmful for children. The targeted content can easily attract children. Children would want to stay on the platform for longer. And this way, it helps the platforms earn money through the ads. But you see, it also affects, brings about an impact on the mental health of the children. As the targeted content can sometimes lead to unknown links. Kids are more vulnerable to click on such content. Some unverified online links could lead to the dark web. And what is the dark web? This part of the internet is a gathering place for cyber criminals. Visiting the dark web could infect devices with viruses. It could, it's also used for illegal activities like selling of illegal drugs. Children can go down a rabbit hole of harmful content. And if not taught about the harms and the dangers of social media, how else is social media adding to the mental health crisis, you wonder? It heightens the feeling of insecurity. Children could feel insecure about the way they look. When friends or influencers share the highlights of their life, it could lead to a person feeling depressed or unhappy about their own life. Next is the fear of missing out or FOMO. You know, the idea of missing out on events or parties, it can lead to a fall in self-esteem and trigger anxiety. Social media is also the cause for self-absorption. And this is where a person stops caring about others' lives. The person creates an unhealthy self-centeredness and distances themselves from real-life connections. And this last one is a major cause for suicides around the world, depression and anxiety. 
The more a person prioritizes social media over real life interactions, the more they are at risk of getting mood disorders and mood disorders can convince anyone to take drastic steps in some, some cases like self-harm or even have suicidal thoughts. The world of social media might have more cons than pros, at least at this point of time. Children stand as the most vulnerable to the dangers. Will social media companies realize that there is a crisis? Will our next generations face the impact of social media in such a way? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.